Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a, a little extra video and that's going to be in Substance Painter and we're going to talk about how to apply multiple textures without uh, creating a color ID mask up front. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, well, we're in Maya 2018 and I want to show you an alternative method of applying uh, different materials in Substance Painter without creating a color ID mask up front. Okay. So if you don't know how that process works, uh, never mind. That's okay. I'll just uh, show you how this works, and then at least you have this method, uh, you know, in your toolbox. Okay. So uh, let's see. We'll take a really simple object. Let's do a polygon plane here, and I'm just going to hit R and scale that out. And I'll hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in and set this to one by one, just so we keep it very simple. I'm going to go up to Display and Grid and turn that off. And then I'm going to go into Insert Edge Loop. I have it set to two, so I'll do two here and two there, and hit Q on my keyboard. Now, normally when you export an object into Substance Painter, if you only have one material or one uh, shading group on it, it will only show up as one shading group in Substance Painter, and then it's difficult to apply more than one material. Now, in this case, uh, I'm not going to create a color ID. I'm going to export it as is. So I'm just going to go to Object Mode, Make sure it's UV'd, but because this is a plane, it already is, and I'll show you. There you have it. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go to File and Export Selection. And let's just call this plane, and I'll save it on my desktop. And then we'll go into Substance Painter. Here we go. All right, and here we are. So um, we're in Substance Painter. I'm going to go up to uh, File, New. I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to select my low poly, which is my plane right here. And um, I'm going to leave everything else at default. I'm just going to hit OK. Now, when I rotate this a little bit, you can see it's been brought in. That's fine. And what I need to do is bake my initial texture sets. So, But you can see already up here in the top right corner that we only have one shading group or one texture set to be exact. Okay. So I'm going to go to Big Textures, which will create the um, initial uh, normal map and ambient occlusion and all that kind of cool stuff. I don't have a high poly, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'll set this to 2K map size, which is good, and we're just going to hit Big. I'm going to get a few errors because I didn't turn off uh, the uh, ID and so forth, but that's okay. We'll give that a sec. And when that is all done, I'm going to go up to uh, View and Reset User Interface. So we'll get rid of that. So you can see it has baked a normal and so forth. Now, I want the center of this uh, uh, plane here to have a material, but only the center. Now, uh, if I drag and drop something onto my, uh, my plane here, and I'll just go into, let's say, Materials take this and drop it in. And actually, I don't even need an extra layer for that. I can just drag it. You'll see that everything becomes blue. Now, I don't want that, so I'm going to delete that. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go in and initially drag on the plastic as before. OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and add a black mask. Now, that covers the blue entirely until I take a white brush and paint over it in areas where I want it to show. So if I were to do that here or here or whatever, okay? Now, that's not what I want. I want to have a very specific area. So I would have to go in and color in that center box. Now, I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to take that square up here with a little red corner. And that will let me do that based on the faces. So now the only thing I need to do instead of brush is just click on the middle one. And it will mask out and show the blue underneath. And I can do that here, here, here. Come on. Yeah, there you go. So that's all there's to it. It's a really simple. Uh, hopefully the technique will be helpful for you guys. If you've got any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.